Hi and welcome to another Instrument Choice support video. In this video we'll demonstrate how to connect the MX1101 to the Hobo mobile application and give a short run through of the features of the app. To start, install the included batteries into the compartment located on the back of the logger. The logger will automatically turn on. Download the Hobo mobile application. The download links are in the description. Accept any relevant permissions, then wait. If the phone's Bluetooth is switched on, it will automatically start searching for available Hobo loggers. The logger, with its name and serial number, will appear on the screen. Press on the logger name to connect. Whenever you connect your logger, you will see this screen. Here, you can configure, download data, view status details, start logging, page, and set a password. The other options will become accessible once the logger has been started. To get started, press Configure. The first block of selections is Deployment Information. Here, you can set a name, add the logger to a group, set a location by selecting on the map, or give the unit a deployment number. The next block is the logging setup. Press the item you wish to adjust and make your selection. As we adjust the logging interval, the logging duration automatically updates to let you know how much time until the memory becomes full. Under Start Logging, you can select how you would like to start the device. Choose between now, on the next logging interval, at button push, or on a selected date and time. Under Stop Logging, you can choose between stopping logging when memory is full or wrapping the logged data. And the method of stop, between button push, never, on a time and date, or after a time and date. Next is alarms. For the MX1101, you can set high and low alarms for temperature and humidity. For temperature alarms, press the button to turn alarms on or off, and adjust the temperature using the slide scale, or type in the desired temperature. After selecting alarms and alarm temperatures, you can select when you would like to raise the alarm. Alarms for humidity are selected in the same way as temperature. Press the button to turn them on or off and adjust the humidity level using the slide scale or type in the desired percentage. After selecting alarms for humidity percentages, you can select when you would like to raise the alarm. You can choose to turn the audible alarm on or off. When the alarm limit is exceeded, the unit beeps once every 30 seconds until it has been cleared on the app, a button on the logger is pressed, or after seven days have elapsed. Having this on will also slightly reduce the battery life. The next block allows you to select how long alarms will remain visual. Select between logger reconfigured, sensor back within limits, or alarm button pressed. Under the advanced block, you can adjust the logging mode further, as well as select between the LCD being on or off. Once set up to your desired parameters, hit start. The current measurements will appear on the logger, and the unit has started to take measurements to the set parameters. You can place the logger in its intended position. After the logger has started, you'll return to the connected logger screen. As you can see, more selections have animated now that the data logger has been started. At any time you're within the range of the logger, you can download data by selecting Readout. When this has been selected, press Readout to see your data. The data will appear as a graph. As this data has not been running long, there isn't much data to see. You can select individual or select all data, sets, then easily share or delete them. Another icon which is available on the home screen after you start logging is full status details. Here, you can see the full status details without having to go to the place of the logger. If you can connect to the logger but can't quite remember its location, the page feature will help. Hold this down and the logger will emit an audible beep. This will continue as long as you hold the page icon down. Last of all, on the screen, you can stop logging or set and change the logger's password. The other menus are data readout. This is again where you see your data. Settings. These are the app settings, including unit selection, data logger settings and readout settings and an about section with product user guides and app information. The MX1101 is a powerful and reliable temperature and humidity data logger complemented by the intuitive Hobo Mobile app. 
For more information on this logger, speak with an instrument choice scientist. Details are in the video description. We hope that you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching.